Boom. Happy Friday, everybody. LT is in the building. Thank you so much for joining me on a Friday night. You could be anywhere. You could be dancing in the club, partying like these people on this slide. It's actually the people from uh, Dancing with the Stars. And it just represents fun and it represents um, having a good time with friends, dressing up. Sometimes if you dress up, it makes you feel better. So I tend to dress up on Friday nights, even though I'm not going to the club, I'm still having a good time. So that's what that's all about. All right, so tonight the topic is creating an audio book and it is going to be very informational, educational. Uh, let's see, somebody has their mic on. All right, Melanie, I'm gonna take, there we go. Okay, so you're muted now until the end. All right, so this is creating an audiobook. This is actually part two. Last week we had a discussion about how to get it started and we had some Q&A at the end and we ran out of time. So tonight I'm going to take you through the nitty gritty details of how to create your audiobook and we're going to take some notes. We're going to put some notes in the chat. Um, I figured out a way to email you the notes from the chat. So really Get get into the chat tonight, y'all, because you're going to get a copy of everything, like a transcript in the chat. So if we could be interactive in that way, that'd be awesome. All right, so here's the agenda. Take a few seconds to take a look at the agenda. And I do want us to have a moment of silence because today is 9-11 and we did lose people on that day and so i would like to give a moment of silence for those folks that lost their lives on that day because that was a time when we were a nation in mourning and the good thing about it is that we came together we prayed together and we rebuilt together so i would like to take about 45 seconds right now just to give a moment of silence for those people that lost their lives on september 11th All right, thank you everybody for giving that moment of silence. Um, Dolores is in the building. Dolores, go ahead and mute yourself and keep your camera off because I am recording. Um, number one, we're gonna talk about audiobooks first. Secondly, we're gonna talk about podcasts. Third, we're gonna talk about building a brand name for yourself. We're gonna practice, some of us already have brand names, so we're gonna practice our elevator speeches at the very end. If you are interested, in promoting your business, promoting your brand, go ahead in the chat and say, yes, I would love to give an elevator speech at the very end. Just let me know so I can kind of monitor who's going to do that. And then Q&A, if you have any questions for me or Stephanie, let us know at the very end because we're going to be sharing about how we created an audiobook together. And then I'm going to tell you about next week's topic at the very end so you guys can stay tuned and also invite your friends and your families, people who want to be authors, people who are already authors, because this information is very crucial, especially in 2020. All right, so you wrote your paperback and you published your ebook, or you're in the process of writing your paperback and getting ready to publish your ebook. So now is the time, even if you're not done yet and your manuscript is in progress, now is the time to start thinking about what is the next step, okay? What is the next step? So in the chat, let me know, have you written your book? Are you in the process of writing your book? Are you 80% done? Tell me in the chat, how much have you done on your paperback or ebook? Let me know. I want to read in the chat how we are doing with our manuscripts because we're kind of all over the place. Awesome. Stephanie says, I have outlined it and I have written some. Excellent. The outline is 
honestly the most important piece because it keeps you focused. You can always change it later, but if you start with an outline and you end with an outline, it's gonna give you some strategy on how to get that done. If you don't have an outline, you're gonna feel very confused, frustrated, and cluttered. And that's where the writer's block comes in. So thank you, Stephanie, for um, sharing that. She says she's outlined it and she's written some for her book. Awesome. All right, Laverne said, I just started and I have notes. Beautiful. The notes are going to be very helpful on those nights where you feel kind of like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. That's where you go back to your notes, you go back to your workbook. Make sure you work through your workbook every single day, write a little bit. Um, I think I put some sticky notes in there for you. Go ahead and work through those sticky notes because those thoughts are gonna come back later. They may not make sense now, but they're gonna come back to you later. You're gonna need those notes. Awesome. So now is the time to think about your audiobook. In the year 2020, we still have a few months left and it is not too late for you ladies to build your businesses. It is not too late for you to get a book done out into the world because the audience is waiting. Your readers want more. When I wrote my first book in 2016, um, it was about 100 pages, 110 pages. And the thing that shocked me was that the people who read my book actually said they read it in a few hours and that they wanted me to write more. And I was like, okay, I didn't think anybody really cared about what I had to say. And I definitely didn't think that they wanted to hear more from me. So that was a shock. When you get your first book out, have the expectation that your readers are gonna want more. So in order to give the readers more, I have decided to go ahead and create an audio book by using ACX. Now ACX is a company which is associated with Amazon and they also have a partnership with iTunes. So when you publish your book, your audio book in ACX, a lot of the heavy lifting is going to be done for you. So it is a very good system. I'm gonna take you through it tonight and I'm gonna to explain to you how it works because it makes your life very, very, very simple as an author. And if you have questions about the narrator side, Stephanie has been narrating books for a long time and she's been producing. So she's actually a narrator and a producer of audiobooks. So she has a lot of expertise. And you can see across the top, it says about ACX, how it works, promote yourself, production resources, need help and search. That is pretty much all you need to get started. There's a lot of information. All right, and they're gonna walk you through it step by step, but I'm gonna show you how I got started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is create a detailed description of your book for readers to see and a script so that voice actors can audition for your book. If you would like to do your own narrating, you have that as an option. Um, I highly recommend that you take auditions because it is actually easier to produce the book when you have someone else focusing on the audio part. And you can just focus on making sure that manuscript is looking good. So I'm gonna click on this Google Doc. I love Google Docs. And this has a quick script for one of my books. This book is called Daily Bread for Teachers, How to Bring Swag into Your Classroom. And so this is a quick description. Um, actually, this came out of the manuscript. 
Um, so I pulled some of the interesting parts out of the manuscript so that the person who was auditioning would have something to read as they were auditioning. So this is actually five pages and I learned later from Stephanie, my narrator, um, that it really should have been a little bit shorter um, because the narrators that audition, they don't have a lot of time. And so you need to really make sure that you get to the point when you give them a script because they're only gonna give you like a four minute audition clip. So you really don't need a whole lot in your script, but I'm always overdoing everything. So that's me. <laughs> so there's my script and you've got to have it prepared because what you're going to do is upload your script into the system. And then very quickly, you start to receive auditions and you get emails. So make sure you give the system a good email because they're gonna start emailing you every time someone submits an audition. So as you can see for this particular book, I had auditions from May 7th, May 14th, May 18th. I had one from May 20th, one from May 22nd, and then one, two, three, four from May 27th. So there were lots of people that read my script, read the description, thought the book was interesting, and auditioned for it. And you can see over here off to the right, you can either click reply or you can click delete. I always clicked reply after I listened to the clip and I told each person, thank you so much for auditioning. I appreciate your time. I loved your audition. Um, here is a question that I have for you because I'm in the midst of making a decision about which um, narrator I'm going to choose. Then I, after I chose my narrator, I sent them a follow-up message within the system that said, thank you for auditioning. I appreciate your time. I decided to go with another narrator, but I have more books. So keep your eye out for future titles. And they really appreciated that. Okay, this is what my cover looks like inside of Audible. This is the book, Daily Bread for the Super Cool and Unorthodox Teacher, 101 Ways to Make Your Swag Effective in the Classroom. And you can see my name by Latasha Jimerson, produced by Stephanie King. And it was accepted on May 28th, 2020. And you can see there it says, UTC as a royalty share deal. So that means this is a long-term deal. This is a royalty share. So we're gonna share the royalties for every book that we sell on Audible. We're gonna split the royalties together and we're going to uh, basically make money off of this Audible for as many years as it, it is available. And so that was very exciting to me and I was looking for a narrator who had experience because this is my first audio book. So I was hoping that I would find a narrator that had produced books already. And lo and behold, I prayed on it and Stephanie showed up and she showed out. And it was just an amazing uh, situation. And it still is a good partnership. So it says, once you choose a voice actor, then you need to choose a royalty share deal. You can pay them per hour or you can do a royalty share. Um, if you record your own audiobook, then you will not have to share any royalties. Consider this before opening up your book for auditions. And here's an email. It says, check your email for updates about your book. The system is good about alerting you about things that are happening with your account. Every single time someone auditioned, I got an email. Every single time uh, someone finished a 15 minute, after you accept the person and then they do the 15 minute, you get an email. And then after they do the 15 minute, then you give them uh, a deal for the royalty. And then, um, then they actually produce the entire 
book, which is like two to three hours, depending on how many pages it is. But this is my first email and I saved it because I was so excited. Um, there's the title of my book and it says it will be available on iTunes and Amazon within the next few days. Once you begin earning royalties on your audiobook, you will be able to monitor its sales on ACX, which I will show you. And it says, log into ACX and go to the completed projects tab. I mean, everything is super organized. They have a completed projects tab. Uh, they ask you to put in your bank account information because the royalties come in as direct deposits. So it is very nice. You do not have to worry about getting a physical check. It's just writing your account. And then my favorite part is the bounty program, which I've been promoting this to my friends and family. It says, are you ready to earn? Check out these tips on how best to promote your audiobook and how you can capitalize on the ACX Bounty Referral Program, which gets you up to $75 flat each and every time your audiobook is the first purchased by a new Audible member using unique links located in your project dashboard. Be sure to bookmark our help center for answers to questions as they come up. We can't wait to hear your audiobook. So this is just letting you know, here's where you are in the process. Get ready, because it's about to get real fun. All right, so this is my book cover on Amazon, and this is the Daily Bread for Teachers, 101 Ways to Bring Swag into Your Classroom. Now, you do have to be careful because what I learned, um, I created this particular cover in Amazon in the KDP system. But when I produced my audiobook for ACX, this cover did not meet the requirements for ACX. So you have to pay attention to what the requirements are for your cover and make sure that if you're using something like Canva, you got to make sure that it fits the requirements. So you got to learn the requirements and then you got to fit the requirements and you got to just make sure that your cover is appropriate for your book. So this is my book cover on Amazon for my paperback, but my Audible cover looks like this. It's different. I had to switch it up because it has to be a square and it has to be so many centimeters and all that. So just know that is coming if you plan on producing an Audible. Your cover is going to be different for your paperback than your audiobook. And here's what it looks like if somebody were to go to Audible. This is what they would see if they pulled up uh, your book name. Here's the, the search engine right here. And I typed in Daily Bread for Teachers and my book popped up. And I was surprised because when I did my um, all, when I did my ebook and my paperback, I was able to set the price. But for this audio, audio book on Audible, I was not able to set the price. They set the price for me. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But anyway, um, that's how it goes. And as you can see, it says my name. It has Stephanie's name. And then it tells you how long it is, an hour and 28 minutes. Um, the release date was July 30th. It's in English, and then it says not rated yet. No one's read it, uh, no one's listened to it yet to give us feedback yet, so that's what that is. All right, and then here's the good part. Show me the money. So you keep track of your sales by logging into your sales dashboard, which is right here. And the last time, it says I logged in August the 7th, and we had sold two audiobooks, which was really exciting because I really wasn't doing too much promotion. So I'm like, who, who bought those two? I don't even know. Um, so at, at the bottom, it says, it tells you what all these little things mean. But basically, there's no bounty points and there's two sales units, but we didn't make a profit off of these two books yet because the people that ordered them, they had credits in the system. So they used their credits to pay for the book. So we didn't earn a royalty on those two copies, but it was still exciting just to see, oh my goodness, two people um, purchased my audiobook. So that's cool. And that was right out the gate because it, it was produced on July 30th and this is August 7th. So somebody heard about it, 
and got it. Okay, so um, also, this is very important. When you go into ACX, they tell you how to promote yourself and they give you tools. And so the first one says, Social Media 101, get on Facebook, which most of us are, use Twitter, some of us are, join LinkedIn, get on YouTube, blog, get started, get tips, maintain your image, join the conversation, podcasting, we're gonna talk about that tonight, uh, measure the impact, email marketing, marketing checklist, offline marketing and bounty referral marketing. These are all the ways that they recommend that you promote yourself. And then if you need help, there's a little need help button here. And then there's all kinds of things that you can look at. Okay, they're telling you how to keep track. If you're already doing uh, YouTube, for example, it says, how many views are your videos receiving? are people commenting. So if you are using these social media platforms, they tell you here in the ACX, this is what you should be paying attention to because these are the things that are going to lead you to actually getting some money. So once you produce your audiobook or even before, you can go through here and start reading what you should be looking for on Facebook, your fans, is your fan base growing? Your friends, are you connecting with the right people? Your Twitter followers, is your number of Twitter followers growing or shrinking? Okay, subscribers, how many people are subscribed to your blog or your podcast? We're gonna get into that in a second. Okay, join groups and make sure that you show up a lot of people have invited me to show up to different events. And over here on the right-hand side, I got really confused about time zones. And there were several events that I missed because of time zones. So just pay attention to that because um, if you don't show up and they've already promoted you and people are like, what happened to her? That happened to me twice. I got confused about the time zone, didn't show up to the event and it was very embarrassing. So make sure you, when you start networking like crazy and people find out you're an author, they're gonna want you to appear on their shows. Just make sure you make it there on time and you communicate clearly. Um, that was a learning experience for me. Remember that your readers want more from you, give them more. You might think, oh, nobody really cares about what I have to say. I'm just a, a mom or I'm just a teacher or I'm just a, a woman who just reads books all day, you would be surprised what people want to learn from you. Your life experience is interesting to other people. You are inside the picture, you can't see the frame. So when you're writing your ideas and you get ideas in your spirit, in your heart, there's a reason why you're getting those ideas and it's to share with other people, to enlighten other people. And they're going to really, really, really gravitate towards you. You're going to be surprised at the people that grab, gravitate towards you because you were brave enough to step out on faith and to write a book. That's a big deal. All right. So audiobooks and podcasts, what do those two have to do with one another? All right. So here's from Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. What is a podcast? It's a, it's a uh, episodic series of spoken word digital auto audio files that a user can download to a personal device for easy listening. Streaming applications and podcasting services provide a convenient, integrated way to manage a personal consumption queue uh, across many platform sources and playback devices. Here is ACX. Remember this dashboard? So here's my name. I have four projects that are here zero auditions, zero messages. Um, and here's, if you wanna add another title, you can always add another title. But this talks about podcasting. It says a podcast is another way to engage your fans and your prospective fans. 
in a medium similar to your audiobooks. The more people you get to listen to you, the more people will want to continue to listen to you. And that's what drives sales. So go ahead and get started. Many, many people have told me that I need to start a podcast. I've had, uh, I had a radio interview this summer and the person that was the radio producer told me that I had a perfect radio voice. And I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. He said, I have a deep voice, calm, soothing voice, but also enthusiastic energy. And that translates well over the radio and over podcasts. I didn't know that until I started networking with people who were in radio. I had no idea. I know that I love to talk. I'm a teacher. I talk all day long, but I didn't know that it would be profitable for me to look into starting a podcast. So here we are today. It says people are motivated to create a podcast for a number of reasons. The podcast producer who is often the podcast host as well may wish to express a personal passion, increase professional visibility, enter into a social network of influencers or influential ideas, cultivate a community of like-minded viewership or put forward pedagogical or ideological ideas. So you're an author, you've got ideas, your philosophy of life and your ideas and values are expressed in your book. And lots of people are gonna agree with you and some people are gonna disagree with you and it all generates an interesting conversation. And that's what this is about, conversations. This is one of my favorite podcasters. I actually do not listen to his podcast because I am a visual and kinesthetic learner I am not an, awe, an auditory learner at all, so it's, it, it takes a lot for me to sit and listen to something, but I will watch YouTube all day long, and I will actually create YouTube videos all day long because I'm kinesthetic and I'm visual, and so those are my main learning modalities. So this guy, I love this guy, first of all, because he's 44 years old, and so am I. He's an immigrant from the Soviet Union. He is called Gary V. He's an entrepreneur, social media, angel investor. And I don't know what eonology is, but I'm pretty sure it's something that he made up because he's an influencer. He has millions of viewers on YouTube and on his podcast. He is worth $160 million, and that is his website. He has a company called Vayner Media. He is one of my favorite people. Um, He's from New Jersey. I, I was born in New Jersey, but raised in California. So when he speaks, he's very direct up front and he does drop the F-bomb a lot, but he's very entertaining. So this is one of my favorite people who has a podcast. This is Gary V. This is actually, it shows you, listen on Apple Podcasts. It has um, the date of the podcast, the name of it. It has how long it is, and then you can play it or download it. As you can see, he has 300 episodes and it says he's also a, a vlogger. He does a lot. He's been working in the social media space since the 90s before the social media space was even big. He talks about his email list. He had an email list in the 90s when I was in high school. So I pay attention to everything that this guy says because he's on it. These are the most popular uh, podcast series. If you just type in Google podcast series, you will see these pop up. Um, I am actually not familiar with any of these other than the Joe Rogan experience, which my husband listens to. Um, that's the only way I know about that. one. But this is a huge community of people that listen to these podcast episodes. They're like hooked, kind of like me with Netflix. All right, this is Gary V. These are the books that Gary V has produced. And again, he uses a lot of cuss words. So if you can't handle that, don't listen to him. His book is called Crushing It. He has another book called Jab, Jab, Right Hook. Very entertaining, amazing. And you can see these different prices across the board. I believe these prices vary according to your influence in the market. So I kind of see why now my book is six ninety five because I don't have the following yet that Gary V does. So he can charge twenty seven thirty seven, eighteen twenty four. This one's nine ninety nine. I thought that was just interesting how these things are priced. 
Um, this is a lady that I just met last week. Her name is Julie Clark. What caught my attention was her bio. If you're a business owner, you need to really straighten up your bio because when I got my bio in check, that's when I actually started generating money as a brand because people were like, oh, okay, she's an authority. We can trust her. She knows what she's talking about. Look at Julie Clark's bio. She says, I'm a platform building. I'm platform building with integrity for nonfiction authors, coaches, and speakers. Okay, so she's automatically talking to me because I'm a nonfiction author. I'm also a coach and a speaker, and I like to be uh, a person of integrity, and I want to build my platform. So she's one of my friends that I met. How many days ago was this? Saturday. I just met her. She says, Latasha, I wanted to reach out to other podcast hosts. I don't even know where she gets the idea that I'm a podcast host, but I guess I threw it out into the universe. So she's responding. Um, who serves authors and speakers to see if there might be some synergy? I'm looking for podcast guests and to be a guest. I put together a short video on how we can help. Yes, and this is her video. I was gonna show it to you guys, but we are short on time again, and that's okay. But um, she's somebody who, if you're interested in really expanding your brand, get with her because she has a lot of valuable information. I spent about 45 minutes with her on a Zoom this week, and she's phenomenal. She actually sent me to this link to schedule a chat with her. So I did that. Um, and then she told me about this, this resource, Podetize. And she got me in contact with the founders of this company. And we have a meeting on Thursday to find out how they can help me elevate my brand. And so I'm very excited to be connected with these people because they have some amazing testimonials. So check it out. If you're interested in, in having help with your podcast, which I plan to launch mine in January, I'm going to be partnering with these people and hopefully they have an uh, affiliate marketing program because I will definitely be an affiliate marketer for them. If we do some good business together, because I'm all about self promotion and I'm all about other people promotion. So if you have a business, I'm promoting you. This is a video, I was gonna show this one, but this is actually, um, we're out of time. So if you guys go to their website, Podetize, scroll down, you will see this video. It gives you a very quick overall um, idea of what it is that they do. They do some really incredible work for people who are interested in getting pot, doing podcasts, but don't have a lot of time to actually run it. And then they also teach you how to monetize from your podcast, which is, I'm very interested in that because I have a YouTube channel with hundreds of videos, but I haven't been able to monetize. So that's where they come in. Boom, these are the best selling audio books right now. I wonder why. Number one is Rage by Bob Woodward. Number two is Dune. And number three is Disloyal, a memoir. I guess people are interested in politics right now. Go figure. These are the top Audible Plus listen. So I guess there's a program, a membership program, and these are the top list, the ones that they listen to the most. So when you find me, 1984, I remember reading this book in high school. I had no idea what was going on. I wish I would have listened to it on um, audio book. I probably would have understood it a little better. Um, Hell Divers, and then I like her title, You Are the Guru. I love that. So these are the ones I like to see. Um, where my competition is. So these are the top ones. This is what people are listening to right now. This is just for fun. Um, I listened to this top one. I can't make this up. Life Lessons with Kevin Hart. This, this is like the only audio book that I've ever listened to. And I didn't even listen to the whole audio book because as you can see, it's 11 hours and 15 minutes and I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> so um, I loved it because it was narrated by Kevin Hart. And I didn't know he had other books out too. So you might want to check him out. He's very entertaining. And he also has Kevin Hart's Guide to Black History. Um, I thought that was interesting. That is also narrated by Kevin Hart, written by Kevin Hart. That one is only an hour and one minute. So I may check that one out. And then you notice he has his biography at the bottom. And that's uh, narrated 
by Kevin Collins and written by Nick Jennings. So there you go. Once you get as big as Kevin Hart, you don't have to write your book and you don't have to narrate it either because you get other people that can do it for you. Boom. Okay, so we talked about audiobooks. We talked about podcasts. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how to brand yourself. Um, I want to read a couple of things in the chat, though. Let's see what's happening in the chat. Let's see. Who is in the building? Hopefully you guys are still alive and still awake and I haven't bored you to death. Let me see. Um, let me see if there's any questions. Okay, Stephanie says, oh, shucks, but it's coming. Mara says, can they get the Audible free with Kindle Unlimited? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. And then um, she says, yes, network, network, network. Gary V is amazing. Yes, he is. Stephanie, um, millions. He could calm down on the language a lot. Yeah, he, he's unapologetic with his F-bombs. I'm telling you, if you can't handle it, don't listen to him. And then um, Eden says, Radio Lab is really good. Oh, thank you, Eden. I've never heard of that. That's another resource for me. I love it. This is one of the things I like about these webinars, y'all. I love teaching, but what I love even more than teaching is actually learning. So usually I try to hurry up and get through my slides so I can hear from you guys because we're all experts in our own right. So it is 646, and I know I said I wanted to be done by now, but I'm going to go through these last few slides, and I'm going to let you guys do your elevator pitches and your Q&A. So how do you build a brand name? Okay, so I've learned from multiple trainings, from being in network marketing, from doing personal development, from reading, um, going to YouTube University, getting multiple degrees at, U universe, um, at YouTube University. Um, I've learned that how you build a brand name is that you focus on your profession, your purpose, and your passion. And all of those things get rolled up into a three-letter word, which is your why. Why is it that you get up every day and do what you do? This is how you figure out your brand name. What is it? So if you haven't started a business yet, 2020 is the time for you to get your side hustle on, especially your online presence, because everyone is online. I make 100% of my sales. I get 100% of my clients from social media. I don't interact in person with too many people, especially with this COVID-19, um, because I'm not trying to get sick. So all 100% of my sales for my courses, for my books, for my coaching programs, everything that I do is from social media. So I cannot express to you how important it is for you to get on social media and to be professional, focus on your purpose, and let your passion shine because people are going to gravitate toward you when they see your enthusiasm. That's my commercial for building your brand name right now. You got to get busy about that right now. Everybody needs a side hustle. Everybody needs a business. And when you treat your business like a business, it'll pay you like a business. But if you treat your business like a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby. I've learned that too. All right. So this is my Facebook group and it's called 2020 Self-Publishing for Busy People. If you are a busy person and you want to learn self-publishing, you need to go ahead and join my Facebook group. It is free 99 and it is full of members that are amazing people. Right now I have 35 members and it is growing by the day. So you build your brand by being consistent and being patient. I'm very good at the consistent part, not so good at the patient part, but I'm working on it. Um, you also promote writing. This is what I do. I promote writing as a tool to heal from past hurt and pain. I see self-publishing as a tool for self-care, self-love, self-discipline, self-awareness. Um, you are a reflection of the company that you keep. Your circle, your success circle can make or break you. And I'm proud and I'm honored that I attract successful people who are smart, beautiful, entertaining, and really, really, really good people. I'm, I'm very honored to be able to do that. 
This is my LinkedIn profile. You will see my picture is exactly the same. Um, my bio says I teach authors how to self-publish and turn their books into courses. Um, I listen to my clients and whatever they need is what I provide. I try not to provide things that are miscellaneous <laughs> or unnecessary or irrelevant. I try to provide services that people actually want and need. And I try to solve problems for people. And when you learn how to solve someone's problem, they're going to come back to you again and again, and they're going to pay you what you are worth because they're going to see your value. Okay. I also believe that authors are thought leaders. You can't spell the word authority without getting through the word author. You are also an expert. And I believe, and I teach this in my courses, that when you write a book, you're going to start a movement. If that's what you want to do, you can do it. You could use your book as your resume. You can use your book as a business card. Your book is a ticket to get a seat at the table with the people that are decision makers. So think of your book not as just a book. It is a key that unlocks the door to the next level. So y'all know y'all want to level up. Get your book done. So you can use that book as a platform to step up and show up in the world in a really mighty way. And 2020 is your time. You have to do this right now. You were built and you were prepared for a time such as this. You are a leader. You are here for a reason. The world needs you and it is time for you to step up. I don't know who needed that. But that came from the pit of my belly and that came from the bottom of my heart because I care about you on this webinar tonight. And I hope that those words get into your spirit, into your soul and move you and inspire you to act now. Okay, this is my YouTube channel. And as you can see, you will see the same smile, the same picture, the same colors so that when people run across this YouTube channel, they know that it's LT. You will see my Instagram bio says, I teach authors how to self-publish and turn their books into courses. Click the link below to enroll into my university for free. And then I have my link so that people can get into my university for free and then they can look at the courses that they want. This is my Twitter. Um, I've got 51 followers and I'm following 272. Um, I don't always tweet, but you can see my bio. I teach new authors how to self-publish and turn their books into courses. Click the link to enroll for free. The message is consistent across my social media. And as of April, my social media was scattered, scatterbrained all over the place. I was posting food posting selfies, posting everything that had nothing to do with my business. And so that's why my business was not growing. I wasn't making no money because the message was not clear. People need to know what you're about. They need to know what you're selling. They didn't know who you are and they need to know your name and that they can trust you. So that is your branding advice for tonight. Put that in your pipe and smoke it and please apply the tools. This is my website. You see the same smile, the same colors, the same message. There's free stuff up here for people who like free 99. I know I do. Tonight's webinar will be uploaded here so that people who missed it can go watch it or listen. <laughs> um, this is my university, self-awareness, learn to accept, embrace, and tell your story. Who am I? I am all of these things. And uh, in the future, I will be a podcaster in 2021. That is my goal for the next year. All right, now we're gonna do some elevator speeches. We have six minutes, and then we're gonna talk about next week, how much money do authors make? Show me the money. LT's favorite tea is the royalty. So we're gonna talk about that next week. Let's do the Q and A right now and now i'm going to shift over if you guys want your face to be on camera turn on your camera if you want your voice to be heard turn on your microphone 
If you just want to communicate through the chat, let's go ahead and communicate through the chat. I do have a special guest on here tonight, and she does have an elevator speech for you. She is a money lady. I can show you how to make money. She can show you how to invest money. So without further ado, Dr. Melanie Harris is in the building. Welcome. Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I am so glad to be here, Miss LT, and I'm going to make it really, really quick. So ladies, I am uh, in the financial services. I too, like Miss LT, is also, I'm also in education. But right now, my passion, the other thing I'm going to be doing besides starting my book, you know, because of her, <laughs> is um, working with finances, working with families and individuals to help them build and protect their financial legacy, making sure that we are getting rid of generational curses of not having enough knowledge about how we spend our money, how we make our money, how we invest our money, and more importantly, how we are building our income for our retirement purposes. So many people nowadays, because of this pandemic, have had to dig into their savings, if they had a savings, in order to supplement for food, for family members who are furloughed or things like that. So I want to just offer to you the opportunity to share how to make sure you have your GPS for your roadmap for where you want to be financially, not today, not tomorrow, but in the future, and not only you, but your children and your children's children. So that's that generational wealth I'm referring to. So I love um, the opportunity to hopefully speak to you all again in the future to give you a little bit more details, but I appreciate the opportunity to um, just to introduce myself and to say hello. And I, I learned a lot tonight and took a lot of notes about branding. So thank you, madam. <laughs> thank you, Melanie. I appreciate you. We're going to be working together real soon. <laughs> all right. Anybody have an elevator speech that has a business, a brand? Let's practice. Come on, let's go. Miss Mara. Mara, you want to share about your brand? I knew you were going <laughs> to. <laughs> because you know you're going to get sales. <laughs> Hold on, my camera's not working. Everybody's going to want to buy once they hear what Wait, you sell it. <laughs> oh, ah. Woo. Woo. Come on, Mara. Let me lighten that up a little bit. Okay. You beautiful. Hi. We see your lips. We see your lips. <laughs> we jealous. <laughs> you, but you, I was like, nah, my head. Remember I told you the word salad? But, um... Basically, since you did touch on it, I will definitely say I'm Mara Monique. I am the owner and and I'm full. I, I did my, um, what is it? My business registration this week. So I went from Rejuve Retreats to Rejuve Journeys, LLC. So I am the owner and operator of Rejuve Journeys, LLC, which, is, which includes rejuvenation movement, which is where I um, work with women um, bringing the peace, making them know the importance of taking time to be still, taking time to love on yourself and get, um, see, I'm stuttering. I'm slowing down because I actually, through this process of writing the book, I've actually kind of switched up my niche, but originally it's just to make sure entrepreneurs and business owners know the value that they need to have in, within themselves and taking the time for themselves to promote and be more productive and creative in their business. But as of recently through this process of book writing, which in my book is Rejuvenation Journey, Living Without Limitations, I actually have kind of niched it down to people suffering from imposter syndrome and the symptoms of that with anxiety, uh, overwhelm, the not feeling worthy. So there's the hesitation in my voice as far as how I'm actually gonna shorten my elevator speech but i appreciate you guys were suffering through this transition with me but really it's just really about bringing 
everybody through ignoring their inner Karen and breaking through and being who the best you can be because we all know we're great. And a lot of times that um, we allow these negative thoughts and self doubt get in our way of getting to where we gotta go. And Latasha is definitely, definitely an example of where we all can go because she's like, do this, implement, done, success. Implement, done, success. And, and that is key because a lot of times we take too much time thinking about something or overthinking instead of acting. So love on yourself and act consistently. The end. <laughs> Woo! What's your product? Because we want to- Oh, um, my product that I'm leaving, that I'm, um, my product that I, that I actually just, well, actually, I guess it's been about two, three weeks now. Because I do, like I said, Reju retreats. But with COVID, I had to pivot. So we're going with virtual Reju retreats. Um, and actually, I'm naming them Reju View retreats because it is going to be focusing on the meditation and the rejuvenation of yourself um, to bring up your value, your self esteem, your worth. Um, what's going to be including a couple speakers, um, uh, like I said, med uh, guided meditation. And where I'm going to even have like a playlist for people to do on their own and really take into consideration adding that into their lives. So it also, like you said, with my book, I, I'm of course going to sell my book, but for like my retreat, I'm, they're going to get a copy of my book. Um, I'm setting up, I was speaking to someone about my funnel. I actually might put the e-copy, e-book copy for my funnel for people to click on so I can get their email, they get my e-book and then to get into my funnel to get to my retreat and online courses that I haven't even made yet, but we're gonna do this. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're going. This is how we do it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're amazing. I and love Mara, girl. <laughs> but rejuvenate, I always take time to rest. <laughs> me and, as soon as this is all over, me and my mama are gonna go to Jamaica with you. Uh, and I, man, I, I, I'm so ready to be back and, and just be on the beach relaxing. I was having a, you know, I was talking to somebody. I'm like, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. This was not in the schedule. I was supposed to be back in Jamaica two months ago. So, but yeah, you're here so you can invite us. Yeah, exactly. You're all in, invited because <laughs> I do. I also live in Jamaica half the year, but I kind of break it up. Um, normally but before all these restrictions um, so yeah I will definitely be your guide for anybody that would like to go and when we get back to traveling more because I'm also an independent travel agent I set up retreat so we can get back on that beach back with them drinks and party 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 man <laughs> well if you drink and if you don't then they have refreshing cool beverages <laughs> Hey, you got it made in a shade with a glass of lemonade. Exactly. Fruit, papaya. We got all sorts of fruits. Ginger. Woo! All right. We are over time, but I am going to read the chat because I want to know what's going on in the chat. Um, Stephanie says, no elevator speech. Just came to support eating dinner. We must read you. Thank you, Stephanie, for coming and just um, supporting. Um, Melanie Harris says, have passport will travel so you have another customer here you got three me my mama and melanie that's three we going to jamaica with you um see that's why you got to speak up and sell your products girl because you're gonna be making that money but anyway anybody else have anything they want to say i know dolores has a non-profit i'm not sure if she's wanting to speak right now but um I'm all about promoting. If, if nobody else has an elevator speech or a question, we're gonna take a picture and then we're gonna be out of here because I know y'all got Friday night dates that y'all wanna go on. Eden, did you wanna share before we take our picture? I just wanna say I thoroughly enjoyed your detailed presentation about audiobooks and podcasting. You did your homework. Thank you. And you just you're sharing the knowledge so that it takes away the mystique, it, the mystery of it all. It is doable and it's not that hard. 
So thank you for that. You're welcome. And I just had to laugh about Kevin Hart's 11 hour book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what even... is that all about? <clears throat> and they let you know on, on the narrator's end, you can look and see how long the book is and how many words. I would be like, next, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, but then again, it is Kevin. It probably will sell. But do you know how long it would take? <laughs> and the changes and the scrutiny, it, it would be quite a job, but I'm sure very, very lucrative. <laughs> Let's take a picture, y'all. There's Eden. We're going to smile, show our teeth, and then we're going to be on our way. Right. You know how I do this. Okay, one, two. Dolores, are you coming in? Laverne, you coming in? No? <laughs> hold on, let me ask, hold on, real quick. Let me ask for Dolores's video. And unmute. Dolores, we wanna see your beautiful face. Laverne, you said no? No, no face? Okay. All right. You you wearing that well, Eden. Look at Thank that. you very much. You beautiful girl. Okay. There's Dolores. Ready? One. Two. Ah, she got the background. Okay, one, two, three. I'm trying to take the background off. <laughs> oh. oh nice. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I took two. Let me take one more. Can I take my background off? Yes, one more. That's four. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Maybe switch sides, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let me change locations. Oh. <laughs> We're going to be here all night. <laughs> What part of the world? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Eaton Hart? Okay. He's Eaton's coming in here. Ah, here she goes. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Cheese. That's going on social media, y'all. That's going to bring you some customers, y'all. <laughs> All these beautiful black women with these shiny white teeth. Period. <laughs> Not you, Stephanie. You you already got two. <laughs> what? Gary and Raul. They Raul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm busy. What can I say? <laughs> uh, for anybody who doesn't know, they're both her husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his voices. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's all i got y'all have a good night unless you have a question i'm gonna stay for there. a few more minutes but no um, just want to say sorry for myself thank you every time i come online with you i learn something new you keep it crisp you keep it clean um you keep it where it's very easy to understand and i appreciate that so much Thank you. I'm a reflection of you, girl. Welcome. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. All right, we're all out. <laughs>